Hello everyone, uh, Kirby Volt here, and welcome to Fighting Fridays with Kirby Fighters Deluxe. So this is a game that was released on the Nintendo eShop for the 3DS just a little while back, back at the uh, end of August. It is a kind of a more fuller version of the Kirby Fighters game that is found in Kirby Triple Deluxe, which I did a blind run of uh, back in May. So. In this uh, playthrough, I'm basically just going to be going through the main uh, single-player campaign. It's pretty much the exact same fights for the most part. But I want to show off all the abilities and see how much fun you can have, as well as increase the difficulty as we go along. So, with that said, let's begin. This week's featured ability, or maybe there might be two. Ghost Kirby? Oh uh, yeah. We'll probably need to show this mechanic off a lot when we uh, did uh, Kirby Fighters, if in the bonus episodes, but uh, if you're in a team battle, which is new to Deluxe, Kirby Fighters Deluxe has team battles now, you can become a Ghost Kirby, and if you just tap one of the other opponent players, you will come back into the game. So it's kind of fun mechanic, that. So, of course, we have our ten abilities. Sword, Cutter, Beam, Parasol, Hammer, Bomb, Whip, Archer, Fighter, and Ninja. However, if you have uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe Street Pass data onto your 3DS system, you will also be given Beetle Ability and Bell Ability. Pretty interesting choices for uh, fighting abilities, but uh, cool nonetheless. So we're just going to go down the line, I think. I think that'll be the best. So without further ado, let's go with Sword. Can't see right now. Oh, yeah, you can actually. I'm going to do the difficulty normal throughout, but there are some select abilities I might skip over because I'll do those at harder difficulties. Anywho, without further ado, let's begin the single player mode of Kirby Fighters Deluxe. So, just like the re regular Kirby Fighters in the Kirby Triple Deluxe, you got, uh, you got your usual HUD here, the two uh, HP bars. The AI is a bit, uh, I don't know if it's a bit more aggressive, I want to say it is. I'm also just being dumb. That's the button to attack. Items, of course, show up. There are a few new items that are exclusive to Deluxe. Another little new thing is that uh, if you get, uh, they're not really bonuses, but they're things that pop up on the screen. First hit, first recovery, and a few other ones too. Let's see if I can get one of them right now. Uh, here. First block, and there's one we cannot get right now because uh, we have to be in team battle for that. Alright, I want you to go away, please. Alright. So, not too difficult, that. Of course, this is, this is just normal difficulty. But I believe then this one will be exposed to our first team battle. So this is new to Kirby Triple, uh, Kirby Fighters Deluxe. We have a buddy here. And now we can go, as a team, destroy the CPU. There is no friendly fire for, uh, being on a team, so you can try to attack your teammate all you like. It won't do anything to them. This particular stage, uh, the Waddle Dee train tracks, is also an exclusive stage only if you have, um, a oh, first item share, that's the other one. It's the ol- this is- this, uh, course is only available if you have Triple Deluxe, uh, Street Pass data on your system. And here's a new item, this is the Combo Cannon. You need to get two people, uh, on it, and that's not gonna work. You need two people on it, both of your teammate, and you need to be on it. And once you're ready to go, you have a charge, and you can just fire away. It's pretty cool. Did we hit him? That's hard to know sometimes. And of course, we win. Two win streak. Another thing, you'll show a win streak. If you consistently fight your way through and don't die, you'll get streaks of how many victories you've had. Now, there are a few other new stages that are exclusive to Fighters Deluxe as well, but it's kind of being a bit of a downer right now and just giving me mostly Triple Deluxe stages that we've seen already. But that's not too bad. We got a carry. Yeah, Rick! Love Rick. Rick doing his fire right there. Sword is a pretty well-rounded ability, I'd say. I'd say it's probably, like, the most... the easiest to pick up. And it's one of the two abilities that you're given, uh, should you be playing in download play mode, because you can only play as two abilities if you do download play, which is Cutter and Sword. Sword, of course, uh, uh hey, buddy. What? Has its Skyward- no, what, go- I'm trying to demonstrate something here, Mr. Beetle. Like that. 
Let's go hit the star, see what kind of bonus prize we're gonna get! And we got the bonus pride of carrots everywhere. I don't want Mr. Beetle to have any of these carrots, but he's gonna take one anyway, and I'm gonna put him, push him into one. That was dumb of me. Ku, if you could please dispose of him. That was much appreciated. And so now we're gonna have a team against a team. So this is kind of where things get interesting. Because teammates can revive each other, and they can also uh, heal each other. So let's see, if we can get one of these teammates dead before the other, we can pro possibly display the... this... Yeah. Demo? Demo. Sounds like a good word. Demo the ghost mechanic. And they did a smooch. That means they both get the other thing, and I don't want them to have that. You Sharing works not just with health items, it also works with any other items you have. So if you get a invincibility, you can share invincibility. If you get the mint leaf, you can get the, you can uh, do the mint leaf as they're demonstrating. And let's just blow them out of the sky. Goodbye! Ah, that didn't... didn't... Oh, whoa, there's a big explosion over there. Alright, so... He comes now as a ghost. If he taps me, he comes back in. So, when you're in team battle, and, or a single player, if you allow it, you gotta keep in mind the ghost players as well. You can hurt them, they won't take damage, but they will get stunned for a bit so they can't do anything. And round five here is always against Krakow. Not sure why, but they just felt like putting him in. As far as the ghost mechanic goes again, you can get technically hurt while you're a ghost. Also, if you miss, you have a bit of a delay before you can try uh, tapping it back in. Tagging back in, so to speak. When you're fighting on a team against Krakow, the, your uh, buddy will always have the same ability as you. So make sure you know what you're doing, because they might not. But typically the AI is not too bad here. I also like, it displays the keychains. I'm not sure if these keychains are ones that are in your personal Triple Deluxe save file, or if they're just random. Krakow's uh, attack pattern is uh, a bit similar to his uh, EX version, I think. Maybe it's a little bit the uh, DX version, rather. Maybe a little weaker, but again, he is not too terrible. It's kind of nice to have a little break from doing all the Kirby fighting to have like a little boss fight. I seriously love it. They like made a, if they made this game a bit more polished and more in full, and it had more boss fights and stuff, it'd be a pretty fun game, I think. It's still pretty fun in its own right, but. Uh, it is also a very cheap game, and it was kind of like, hey, well, we'll just make this a full game. Ow, ow, ow. That ran ability hurts you, I don't know why it does, but it does. Okay, and you can go away now soon, Krakow. Obviously, being a boss, Krakow can't do anything to tap back in or any of that nonsense. So we'll just stay over here. And dance. Thanks, buddy. On our 5-1 streak. And now against two archers. Unless it says team at the top in the top right hand corner, they are always uh your opponents will always be fighting everything. So they can hurt each other right now. They're not a team. If it said team, then be worried, because then you're by yourself against a team. And I do not care for the stage. This is based off of Halkandra from uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamlands. And I don't like it because there's fire and everything, and it's really annoying. It's a lava stage. Hi, Archer. I see what you're doing there, buddy. Go away, please. Ah, uh, and that was dumb of me to do that. Oh, boy. Hi, and that fell into the thing. I want you to go away, please. Get the star. Get it. What do we get? Uh, they get slowed. Good. Good. You're almost dead. <laughs> there, just fall in the lava. Uh, that works for me. I'm just gonna be over here being a jerk. And now I have a cannon. No. And now I found the lava because I'm done. Alright, wait, they might. Oh, come on! They might finish themselves up. Okay, well, this guy clearly finished that guy up. Um. Okay! Well, I didn't need to do anything because he fell into the lava. Not a big fan of that course. Courses are given to you at random, and there is a bit of a set pattern of which course they're going to give you, but um, I don't know what the pattern is exactly. And so now we're up against a team of uh, different abilities. So in this match, 
your partner will have different ability, you'll have different ability, and the people you're fighting against will have different abilities. So, well, the Kirby's you're fighting against, rather. So it's kind of an all-out brawl here. With a nice mimosa. Okay. Keep in mind the I the icon on top of the computers, or just on top of the Kirby's in general, because that determines your teams. I'm Hearts, so my buddy is obviously Hearts. It's sometimes a bit hard to notice who's on your team. So, if you stay all the way, maybe you'll be fine. <laughs> Good job, Ninja. And so, the second to last round will always be against three Kirbys. You're on your own for this fight. They are not on the team, though, so luckily you don't have to worry about that. But this fight can always be a bit of a problem because they can be so chaotic. But if they're gonna try to kill each other, that's fine by me. I was... No. I believe if you do not have the triple luck save data or street pass data, Beetle and Bell will still show up as opponents you can fight, but you just cannot play as them. So kind of odd that it's programmed like that. But this might be me. Obviously, this is a returning course again from uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe's uh, version of this game. Still a pretty fun one. And uh, when you're doing multiplayer, it's possible to put ghosts on in a uh, free-for-all match. However, in uh, when you're doing the single-player mode, ghosts only come on in team battles. So you don't have to worry about enemies uh, reviving themselves while you're trying to kill all of them. There we go! Bye-bye! Hello! Hello! I want you to be going away! And... Bell has a pretty nice guard, so be careful of that. Or use it to your advantage, however you please. And we have our 8-1 streak now, which leads us to the final round. Which is against Team DDD. Kind of get a bit of a Smash Bros vibe here. You're gonna fight against DDD, except you don't. You'll fight against mini DDDs. How many you fight against is determined on by what difficulty you do. I believe, uh, easy mode, it is 24. Normal mode, which is what we're doing, is 32. Hard mode is 47. Or, 47 or 48, I forget which. And very hard mode is 64. Now, it does say 32, however, there's actually only a total of, uh, 29 you'll have to be killing. There are three others that are not accounted for in this, uh, quick mill mini-match we're doing here. These guys can get problematic if you let them pile up, so you gotta try to get rid of them as fast as possible. In the earlier difficulties, the game is a lot more forgiving, and will give you healing items. Later difficulties, not so much. And now, here comes the last three. Two bigger mini DDDs, and of course, the king himself. This fight can go a bit of a few different ways depending on how you play. You can get rid of the two mini DDDs first, however, that will make the fight against DDD a lot harder. Which sounds odd that that would make it harder considering they're making it harder by just being here, by being extra targets to rack up damage on you. But trust me, they, th once they're gone, They'll make- this will get a lot more intense. Hello. Bye-bye. So when they're both gone, DD will do this. Grow frickin' gigantic and have a completely new attack pattern. Uh, yeah, I'll stay over here, buddy. And I always brought the DD keychains, why not? This attack he's- oh, no, okay, this attack I don't like. I don't like a lot of the attacks he does, to be fair. So that's kind of why it's better, I think to get him while he's, uh, while the mini DDs are still out. Because if you kill him before, or defeat him, before they're, before the mini DDs are destroyed, it counts as you winning. But, take your preference. I want to uppercut you, and I don't want to go in there. Thanks, bye. Ha <laughs> ha! And that was the sword run of Kirby Fighters Deluxe. With our 9-1 streak, we never lost a fight. 
Very nice. And for completing a round of single player in Kirby Fighters Deluxe with any ability, regardless of difficulty, you'll get a rare hat. In this case, we got the rare sword hat. And it's based off, as you can kind of see, the Sword Knight um, helper, which is kind of cool. And you can select them by just pressing X on the ability select screen. However, I believe this is all the time we have for this episode of Kirby Fires Deluxe. I will see you all next week for when we go on to do the next ability, which will be Cutter. Thank you all very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting that like button. And if you want to see more Kirby Fighters action, please consider subscribing. As always, I'm Kirby Volt. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, ciao.